what you guys are looking at right now is actually the MTR subway line. Now, the subway line in Hong Kong, like I said before, if you actually um, uh, watch one of the early documentaries that I did, um, it's quite convenient. As soon as you arrive on, uh, at the airport, you could actually travel up and take one of the, um, the, uh, the airport express to travel all the way to uh, Hong Kong Island uh, or Kowloon in this case. Though. So like I said, it's super convenient. I do have to say one thing though, um, no matter what I said about bad about Hong Kong, about how hot it is, about how polluted, about how crowded the place is, transportation in Hong Kong is superb. Um, honestly, Canada, if you're taking notes, try to imitate what Hong Kong is doing right now because it's fantastic. Uh, but then again, of course, um, Canada is way too big. We will never have anything this, uh, this efficient uh, to, to actually um, develop a uh, subway system that will travel all around the city from the airport to, uh, to different parts of the city like Toronto, Mississauga, Scarborough, Montcalm. It's impossible to do that. As I'm standing right here, the train to uh, the Asia World Expo is actually arriving right now, so I'm going to actually film this part. And as I'm talking right now, I already see the lights, it's arriving. Now, even though through this little glimpse that you can see, this is by far one of the imitation of the uh, Japanese bullet train. It looks quite nice inside. Now, like I said, for all the MTR stations, that most of them, the newer ones, they have the screen doors. Uh, the reason why they have it is, again, uh, if I didn't mention this before, I'm going to mention this right now, is prevent people from suicide. Uh, there are a lot of suicide places where people actually jump. While the troops are arriving, they jump to the trap and get killed by it. So that's why um, they prevent that from happening. That's why they don't have all the screen doors. Now the train is there right now being stopped. Uh, however, of course, I'm not going to take it even though I've got more than enough time to kill. I'm going to actually zoom the back just a little bit. So you can see, so within a compartment area, that looks quite nice. So. Uh, I'm going to actually get back to uh, this side. I don't want to leave my notebook behind. So uh, again, that's basically what you see from a, um, the bullet that did that, the MTR, uh, that looks like a bullet train. It's fantastic. Um, this is by far the newest train that I've seen uh, in, in the MTR system. They have the older one type. Did I uh, get a chance to step on? You see all the crowd of people rushing into the other side of the uh, of the station. That's the oldest subway uh, 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 trains. The new ones, which I get to film just a very tiny bit, about 30 seconds, is the newer one. And that, what you just saw, was the newest one. So they do have different MTR trains uh, for, of course, the uh, different lines. But the majority of it is actually the older lines. Uh, the older trains too so um, like I said I'm gonna sign up right now I'm gonna talk just a little bit